Hi again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And um, I kind of changed my mind a second ago about what I wanted to do, which is uh, too bad because I still want to do that other thing too. I see that fingerprint. Oh well, I'll put it at the bottom. So I think what I really want is to use some different colors outside my comfort zone. And I'm just using chalk, regular chalk. And uh, I don't have any paint on the bottom of that. And I never ever use my copper. And I think I'm going to do that. But you know what? Before that, even, I'm going to clean off my OXO omelet turning spatula. Actually, I'm just going to use a different one because that one is not coming clean. I'll soak it in the bucket first. Let's put some white in my sky area. And we're just going to swipe this into place. And I think I like this color too. And I do, I'm throwing really, really abstract forms in that sky because I want to see what happens when I swipe in different directions. And I can dip my spatula into the colors. I get a lot of red. This is definitely Sunset Sky. That pink is strong. Well, I can always add some white clouds over. And right now it looks like I have plenty of paint on my uh, spatula to cover my edges. So there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe just go back again. Where'd the wipe go? There it is. I put it where I couldn't find it. So I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes. My, my fluid acrylics are mixed with them. Floatrol and DecoArt pouring medium and then GAC 800 10% because that keeps anything that's thick from cracking while it dries. I don't mind if those colors mix. I really don't. I'm always experimenting with what the colors will bring and if they if it happens to turn my sky a beautiful pink <laughs> that I like that's purpley that's okay with me too and I'm going to use that color right up here because I can. That is the name of my book, by the way, <laughs> showing the first hundred artworks I made on YouTube. The first in many volumes to come, if my editor has any anything to say about it at all. And uh, So we're going to start with this, and I think I'm going to change up the direction of things so they don't look quite so uniform, because skies are seldom uniform. I mean, I'm sure there's an exception to that rule, because skies are basically the exception to every rule, in my opinion. Um, I'm using all of the color that I have on my spatula and I'm going to knock off the extra at the top and blow it right down into the picture. And I'm also going to take what's on my tile off and move that along too. Alright, so I still want some clouds. I don't mind having that blue over there, but I kind of want some over here too. So that's good enough, and I'm going to have to wipe off my spatula whether I like it or not. That was a great color. And you know where I wiped my spatula right after I wiped it off. <laughs> On my wet rag made of sweatshirt material. Alright, so I said I had a leftover shovel. And I do. And I didn't have enough dark colors in the last one, although the colors were beautiful. But I really want some very dramatic dark colors to start this. I don't know what you are, but you're not invited. All right, so I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and throw, yeah, really? Some green in there. That's a color shift green, and I'm going to use a bamboo skewer to clean the top out, and then I'm going to just forcefully throw some of that in there. And what else? I have some other colors. That's not really what I was expecting, but it doesn't matter. Um, this is going to be my mountainside up here, and now that I'm looking at it, I kind of kind of think I want some other things in there other than that. So I'm going to I'm going to use a bamboo skewer and just pull some of that other stuff up, and maybe add a little bit of Prussian blue. I didn't put any white in there, and I don't know if I'm going to regret that or not. I usually, well, you know what? Let's just put 
some cautious white in there and not just the drips let's change them around a little bit we can always add more paint so I want what do I want I want to go all the way from over here <laughs> I completely changed my plan and I may have to create another shovel full chances are good I will I'm going to let all of that drain right out of there add some more layers and I'll let it drain up here over the edge too so I have paint covering I'm going to either dip my bamboo skewer in yeah I am I was going to say or use a basting brush but the truth is that's probably coming I'm going to keep my shovel handy because I think I'm going to be using it. I've got paint on my skewer now, which means I'm going to dip my paint, my skewer into my paint and steal that paint and pull it in a swipe. Anything that where you're pulling paint is basically a swipe in my opinion anyway. So that's kind of cool and uh, I can put whatever I want up there and I think what I want up there is this green. I haven't done it exactly like this and I like to change up what's happening every time. Don't mind if a little something falls over the edge. That's never a bad thing in my opinion because that's going to help me cover my edge. Anytime paint is agitated you are going to get some kind of selling action more or less. Got a little pink in there but I think that the uh, the green will swallow it so I'm not worried. Oh I got something in there I don't need. Oh, well new texture. I put some trees in my last scape which is basically just poking things up like so and the different colors will create some kind of texture. I think I have so much paint over on this side that I want to let it drip down and see what happens. I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to continue to let it drip and fill in. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. So, I like all of that, but I'm going to give it a little help with the paint that I've already got. Pull it right down. Got some pretty things in there. I don't want to destroy everything. But I am having a good time with these patterns. It's definitely impressionist, but we also have some pretty cells happening. Just taking my bamboo skewer ever so gently. I don't know what I'm going to do with those orbs. Yeah, got UFOs in the sky. That green one can go. There we go. So that looks like a nice mountainside. I'm pretty, pretty impressed. I'm happy with myself for that. Let's give it some, uh, some darkness, some depth. And I still have a caps come right off my bottles. And I want some of that to be over on this edge. So I'm going to use some paint from my bottle directly and expect that it's going to pull some of those colors over with it, especially the next time that I dip my skewer in and roll it over. And now that I have that there, I'm going to do it on the other side too. Um, but I'm going to change my color up. funny I, I go so long without using any greens and then I'm all about the greens that's okay <laughs> it's good to change things up expand your your view of things that's really cool I'm loving all of that I gotta say this whole series is making me very happy and every time I pick up new paint on my skewer it gives me new paint to play with yeah, I'm not following my original pattern, but I don't think that's going to hurt anything or anybody anyway. Kind of want some purple in there. 
think my finger is going to come in very handy for a moment. I definitely want some purple and some of that Prussian blue. And mm, taking a chance now. I've let my paint get closer and closer and closer until it's right on top of me. And I'm just going to keep using whatever one's up on my skewer to cover my edge. Basically just swiping with my skewer. Right up to that other area. I say this is a lot of fun and I recommend it. Don't overdo it. Kind of want some more Prussian blue over here. Why is that top on there? Really? All right. I don't know where this is going, but I'm playing follow the leader and my muse is in charge. Maybe some more green over there. Maybe some of this color shift green, as well as this other green. That is a minty green from Color Shift, from Folk Art, excuse me. And uh, I see we just got some really nice cells in there when I did that. This is very, very abstract expressionist landscape, so um, everything goes, basically. And I have dark purple. And I want some light purple. And I want some of that blue. I don't know why I want some of that blue, but that's purple. That's okay. <laughs> that is actually what I meant. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Do I want anything else? I think I do. I can have everything I want. That's so cool. How many times in your life can you say that? So basically, you can see the canvas and then sort of release the pressure that you have on the skewer so that it's floating in the paint just a little bit as you roll it you'll get a much better effect I don't mind that little purple little nodule up there not so sure about the pink I just put in there if you make different areas of trees, it looks like you have different levels of land or rises in the landscape. Same with colors. All right, what goes in there? Um, I got three minutes left. I'm having too much fun and time is flying and I keep forgetting to tell you guys all the stuff I'm supposed to tell you. I kind of want some black in there to tell you the truth. I think I'm going to give myself permission to do whatever I feel like right now because I like the rest of this all so much. I'm sure I'm going to want some green again, but there is some right there, so I'm just going to drag some of this right over and back because dragging is different than rolling and it creates a different texture. different areas. Gee, that looks like it should be a, uh, a mountain lake or something. Maybe that's coming. Let's try a little bit of something weird. And maybe some more weird stuff with it, since that was kind of nice. And we just want to change up the colors. that go right over the edge. So far my edges are pretty well covered. I'm kind of happy about that. And I could light blue that. Really, we have a pink sky, so maybe that's the ticket. Maybe just go in there with um, a little bit of that strange odd color. Okay, I'm missing the pink that I had. There it is. It was really stronger than I expected it to be. Let's put some white in there. 
see if we can imitate our sky somewhat. I might have to, I might be really smart to clean off my skewer. I think I'll do that. Maybe I'll even grab a clean one. How about that? Even better. Let's go for the white again. Because we're not sure what's going to happen down here. And I wouldn't mind, if I have a little too much paint, that just means there's something to go over the edges. Which doesn't bother me. It's working. I've got black all over my fingers. There's a shadow in my lake. Okay then. There's black in my lake. Okay, not as nice. I gotta be a little bit more careful about that. Let's just go right up in there. I didn't swipe in there and I could. I really could. Let's do a finger swipe. <laughs> All right, let's be good and do a regular swipe with a spatula, assuming that it's clean. What else do I want? I want something around the edge of that. Yes. I really love working with bamboo skewers. I'm very tempted to go ahead and try this though. Just to add some different texture. I don't have any green stuff in there. Kind of wonder if maybe I should have a little green stuff in there. I'm gonna run out of time. Oh no, okay, <laughs> there we go. So. I've set, set my timer and I'm going to try and tell you what I need to tell you this time, which is I have a book out. It's called Because I Can. It's the first hundred videos from YouTube uh, that I created and uh, it's on the Amazon link along with my OXO omelet turning spatulas and my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and my gold mica powder um, and other cool stuff if you are interested in any tools. Oh, I like that mix. I think I'm just going to grab some of that color. Yes. Yes, much better. That's what I wanted. So, not that. That's a dog hair. <laughs> if you have dogs, you're always going to have dog hairs. I don't mind having a little bit of texture in my water. I don't want to mess up my, my colors too badly. I'm going to run out of time again. I have Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook volumes 1, 2, and 3 at the bottom of the description underneath the video. And also what's down there, <laughs> the recipe, my paint pouring recipe is down there. And uh, if you shop my Teespring, you help me out. If you shop my Amazon, you help me out at no added cost to you. And uh, I do sell my artwork, so inquire if you so choose to. Uh, along with I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill. And I will give you an email if any of those things are of interest to you. We'll have a chat. Just contact me through YouTube, and uh, we'll be off and running that way. Please, 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 can I have your thumbs up? Really helps my placement on YouTube a lot, and uh, I appreciate it. Also, what? If you watch a little bit more of the video, you help me out. And uh, if you're looking for the playlist, it's in the last 20 seconds. It's easily found in the last 20 seconds on the end screens of the video. I want to do something in here. I don't know what though. I think I'm going to grab some of this. Grab some of this other. There we go. I got a minute left. Um, this other paint. And just leave some water like impressions. And hope they heal. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to dip in here and grab those. The, uh, the basting brush is a little more uniform than I really want it to be. I could put a little bit of black over there and be pretty happy, but maybe blue would be a better idea. Yeah, I'm good. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Thank you for all the contributions in the past. If you contribute this month, you will be entered automatically into contest where you will have a choice, if your name is drawn, of one of three or four artworks. When I get them posted up there, they'll be included in the videos at the, on the end screen. And I love you guys. Thanks for all the comments. You guys make my day all the time. I see that thing. It's got to go. And uh, I don't know.